Hi everyone, really good to see you. A little bit different today. Um, I'm out walking my dogs, I hope they're all right. You may be able to see them. And I was kind of looking up the Houses of Parliament and thinking about all those who have power and those in authority and thinking that these, these are really scary times, aren't they? It's really difficult. And, and it's difficult for us as adults. And I, I dread to think what it must be like for you as children too, or young people watching this, um, this sermonette. But I just wanted to say that you're not alone because all of us actually in some ways are actually a little concerned about some of the events that are going on in Ukraine. We must all be instruments of peace. How can we do that? What can we do? Well, we're looking at kind of sometimes fasting, perhaps doing without the things that we really like and perhaps giving that money that we save, and it's a good time to do it Lent, um, to the people of Ukraine or one of the, the charities which are supporting people there. Another way is actually praying or actually just being still. I'm actually trying to have a bit more silence during this Lent. Another way is singing. There's all sorts of ways we, we can actually just kind of be peaceful and just calm ourselves because that's what we all need. So I hope that you'll do that. Now, Alex, let you into the secret. Alex, our version is a really, really good singer. And he now is going to sing a song. Perhaps you can join in or just use it to listen to his wonderful voice. Make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me bring your love. Where there is charity, your pardon. And where there's no true faith. young people we've got some young people going past here and um, as they do so um, Helena now is going to pray a prayer and just let the words ride over it's a prayer that we've been using in church for peace in the Ukraine thank you Helena let us pray holy and gracious God we pray for the people of the Ukraine and the people of Russia for their countries and their leaders. We pray for all those who are afraid that your everlasting arms hold them in this time of great fear. We pray for all those who have the power over life and death, that they will choose for all people life and life in all its fullness. We pray for those who choose war that they will remember that you direct your people to turn our swords into plowshares and seek for peace. We pray for leaders on the world stage, that they are inspired by the wisdom and courage of Christ. And above all, Lord, 
We pray for peace for Ukraine. And we ask this in the name of your blessed Son. Lord, have mercy. Amen. And now Kim, our apprentice youth worker, is going to say a prayer for the young people. Hello everyone. I will now ask you to please close your eyes and bow your heads and we will move on to a quick prayer for our church community. Almighty God, we thank you so much for every young person that has gathered here today to watch this sermonette video. We come before you today as a community to pray over our world, all the fear and pain that is being caused by the war and the warfare in Russia and in Ukraine. We pray, Father God, for a sense of peace over the people of Ukraine and Russia as well. We ask for anyone who is feeling anxious or worried in our world today, who feels nervous of all these events are causing them great fear. We ask, Father God, that you put your peace in your hand of love of all those people who are suffering and those people and all the young people in our church community that feel worried and afraid. We pray, Father God, that you let them know that everything's under your control, that you have the power to create the peace that we'd so desperately need in our world today. We pray that you support all young people in our church community and beyond. To give them that safe space to come to when they feel like the world is getting too much. Pray, Father God, that you show them the peace that they so clearly deserve. And you are always there to support us. Thank you, Father God, that you are always there. We pray for a really safe week ahead and a wonderful um, Easter holiday that is approaching so very fast. In your mighty name, Amen. Might be able to see our dog. Hello. She's being a bit naughty, as usual. We're going to end with a blessing, and I hope that uh, you uh, are able just to spend a little time just centering yourselves and being at peace within yourselves, as we are all trying to to. And um, just remember that you're not alone, friends. So the peace of God, which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you <laughs> and with all those who you love this day and forevermore. Amen. Hi right, Willow, you've come back. Take care friends. Bye bye.